I mean, certainly it would be no difference whether you, like from a lab perspective, say a laboratory technician or an engineering department, I don't think there's a difference in the work environment from one lab to the next lab or one engineering department to the next engineering department. Um, it's office work with some time in the field and all of that kind of stuff, so I don't know why there would be a difference there. Um, you know, certainly in terms of our operations, I think we're getting better. Um, but there's some basic things, like, you know, there's a, a company, and I'll make a little plug for a company in Sudbury called Cover Gals. So it's just a, a great example, right? So you have to wear certain coveralls underground, and they're not particularly well designed for women. Yeah, they're, uh, were they on dragons then? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, a couple of them, they're, they're uh, lots of energy and real a lot of innovation. And so that's just a, an example of, you know, is it, um, is it an industry that, that is unconsciously unwelcoming? It would yeah. certainly, it's not a consciously unwell. I've never experienced to be consciously unwelcoming, but things, basic things like does the safety equipment, is it designed yeah, it for women? Yeah. Um, is the work underground, uh, you know, does it take into account um, women's like, is there bathroom, are there separate bathrooms, are there, you know, just, and so, I mean, that's an area that we focus on is sort of the, just even the basic work environment, bathrooms, equipment, all of that kind of stuff. And, and I think as an industry, we could do a better job. Mm -hmm.